Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm going to be filming my August favorites and I have quite a few products to talk about that I have used in the month of August. So if you guys would like to see my August favorites, then just keep watching. So, hmm, what should I talk about first? The, talk about the makeup wipes I've been using for clients. The first product are some makeup wipes and I have been loving for since I started school but these are the Pond's makeup wipes and they are wet cleansing towelettes with vitamin E in it so they're really really good they're really soft they suds up that's what I like about these the most the thing that I like about them is they're actually makeup wipes they're not like wipes that don't do anything, you can rub your eyes and like, nothing really happens. I like these because it's kind of like soap in a way, but for makeup wipes and they really get the job done when I'm at work and trying to get a client's makeup off, they're really, really good and I just like them. I've tried so many. Um, I don't like the Neutrogena ones that much. I would say they these are probably my top pick and then the Neutrogena ones would be the ones that I would go for after if there wasn't any Pond's makeup wipes and these are just the original fresh kind and they have a lavender kind but I'm not sure what that I think that one might be for like sensitive skin I'm not quite sure but I really like these ones I highly suggest you guys go check out the Pond's and their makeup wipes because they are just amazing and they're great and as you can see they're almost gone they are about this big so yeah they're almost gone because i've been using them a lot with clients and stuff so they're great the next product i want to talk about is also something cleansing and it is just my daily brush cleaner and this is from Sephora. I have did a review a while ago, long time ago, and I am about this far, this much now. I have very little. Once this is all out, I definitely need to go purchase a new one because I really, really like this. It is a great like on the spot type of cleansing for your brushes if you are doing a client and you realize you didn't have enough time to clean your brushes the night before this is great all you need is just a either a washcloth I usually use a washcloth or a towel and you just spritz it on your brush and you just roll your brush around for a little bit and it like cleans it so it's what that looks like it is just an amazing product and yeah, I definitely suggest you guys go check this out at your local Sephora. The next product I'm going to talk about is a primer in this just the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Primer. I got this at Target when they were only in select Targets, but now if you haven't heard, Target is now selling NYX all over. So definitely go check this out and see if you can find it in your local Target or go to your local Ulta. I got this in Target because I haven't seen it in Ulta and it is just a primer. It, uh, it is great for all skin types, softened skin, um, light diffusing effect. It's perfect for coverage, for studio photos, taking fun pictures with your friends. It's great. It's an amazing product. I really like it. It's a pump type of deal and I just really like this a lot. I take this everywhere. So what else it has in it? It is high definition. It is mineral enriched and it is paraben free. So I think this is a great, great product. I highly suggest you guys go purchase this. I highly suggest you use a primer before you put any makeup on because it will um, enhance your makeup and help it last longer so um, this is just for your face so before you put on foundation and powder purchase a primer 
Um, I definitely suggest this if you guys want to try it out. But any primer will do. If for your eyes, I suggest eye primer, which I will get into that because I do have an eye primer I want to talk about. But this just the NYX HD Photogenic Primer, and it is amazing, so... Be sure to check your Target and see if they have this. Then the next product I want to talk about is for your hands, and it is just the Peach Punch Bath & Body Works Hand Sanitizer. That's what this is. Um, and I got this from Bath & Body Works. I use this every time before I touch a client's face. Um, you always want to hand sanitize your hands when you're doing really anything, but I use this. I keep this in my kit, and as you can see, it is halfway done, so I'm going to need to purchase a new one very soon, and yeah, I just it's very good to sanitize everything before you use it. Next, I'm going to go on to the eyes, and the first thing I'm going to talk about is my eye primer I love this eye primer I had this eye primer forever and you'll be able to tell when I show you it is just the Mika Bella Beauty Cosmetics eye primer and as you can see the label has rubbed off of it and this is what it looks like as you can see I have been using this forever I've had this forever I've had this since the beginning of school and I graduated school um, about a year ago I want to say and it's still going strong there's so much product in this it's gonna it's gonna last me a while you don't need a lot of eye primer and uh, this just an amazing product I highly suggest you guys go check out um, Vika beauty.com I will have their linked below so you guys can go check them out and purchase this if you'd like to try it I would definitely compare this to maybe painterly this is a little bit creamy I want to say painterly is a little more drying than this but I really really like this a lot it's lasted me forever and I definitely stress you guys go check this out on MikaBeauty.com then the next thing I am going to talk about are eyebrows and what I use on my clients and I just use the NYX cake powder eyebrow kit and this is in black slash gray or newer or grit gris grises grises there's a couple of um, these and this is the one I most likely have used this month and it is just a great great product all together because you do have your wax and then you have your two powders then you have a spoolie and a little angled brush so that is great it's all in one if you are a beginner if you're a professional like myself um, it's great to just have it all in one so you don't have to dig for other things and stuff so that's really great I highly suggest you guys go check that out then the next thing I'm going to talk about is an eyeshadow and this eyeshadow I have been using this past month because this past month and the month before because I've been doing a lot of bridal makeup lately so this palette literally is really all I needed and it is just the NYX natural palette and I really really like this it has six colors in it and these colors are just amazing they are really good quality I really like them a lot I highly suggest if you are just a neutral kind of girl and you really don't like to wear color then then 
then I highly suggest you guys go check this out on nyxcosmetics.com or check your nearest Ulta. It is an amazing palette. They do have a smoky palette as well with six um, smoky eye colors that you can create a smoky eye with. So if you guys want to check that out as well. But I am obsessed with this palette. I've been using it a lot. And it's just a great neutral type of palette. Really all, all I need is this and some eye primer and my brushes if someone wants a neutral eye. And it's just easy to create. So, I highly suggest you guys go purchase this if you are interested. Then, the next thing I want to talk about, which I got a few, maybe at the beginning of the month, I want to say, I think it was about the beginning of the month. And it is just the Maybelline New York Eye Studio, and this is their gel liner, and this is in Black is Black. It is so amazing. It is very, very creamy. I really, really like this eye primer. Um, I heard about this eye primer actually from a, another MUA, Jaclyn Hill, here on YouTube. I'll have her channel linked below. She's amazing. She's another one of my big inspirations to get better at my work. But she talked about this um, product. She compared it to Max Black Track, and she said that it may be a little bit creamier than Black Track. I know Black Track can be drying towards the end of its line. I tried out Black Track on a friend, and she actually purchased this as well from because she heard about it from Jacqueline Hill as well. So. Yeah, we really both really like this. I really like this. It's creamy. It goes on black. It's not drying at all. As you can see, it still looks brand new. And I've had it for about this whole month. And it's just amazing. I love this product. This is what the packaging looks like. If you are wondering, I got it from Ulta. And... It's just in the blackest black. Then the next thing I'm going to talk about, since we are talking about eyes, I want to talk about some lashes that I got for Christmas that I've been using a lot. And they are just the Luscious Lashes. And this is a 70-piece pack. I got this from my grandparents. And... They have been put to use. They are amazing. I love them. I've used these ones. I have used these ones. I've used these ones. They are just amazing pairs of lashes. These are what they look like. I even did for a client I did I did half lashes for her, so these are great for that too. Um, they are full lashes, so you will need to use scissors to measure out your eye and then cut them. But then once you cut them, then you have some half lashes as well. So it's these are just great. Do have a website, which I will link their website below if you guys are interested in these lashes. They have just been great to me because I've been using them this whole month, the month before. Just great for bridal parties. If you do have a bridal party to go to, it's amazing. 70 pairs of lashes. That's a good deal. And all different types of lashes. So that's really good. I'm going to steer back to face products for a minute because these products or this product that I want to talk about is seriously amazing. I didn't know how amazing it was until I tried them out and now I'm loving them. Everyone knows about them and they are the beauty blenders and I got these beauty blenders from not BeautyCon but Fame Expo. I bought them there and these are just amazing. They expand when you get them wet, which is really great. 
the blend foundation and concealer out really really good I really like them a lot I didn't know if I would like them but I really wanted to try them so I purchased them and yes my beauty blenders are dirty I need to wash them I know but what's great about them what I liked about them is that when I would do concealers on my client I would just flip it over to the more rounder side and just pat on their foundation which was awesome came out flawlessly everyone loved it I really really like these a lot so if you are in the market for some new foundation concealer brushes I would definitely try out the beauty blender sponges amazing the best probably best investment that I've made throughout my career because these are definitely definitely amazing now on to lips the first product I want to talk about is a lipstick and this is from NYX cosmetics and this is just in strawberry milk and the number is LSS 595 in case you are wondering and it is just a kind of a baby pink and as you can see I have destroyed the top of it with my spatula because I've been using it a lot for my bridal clients and it's just an amazing amazing really really creamy I'll swatch it for you guys really fast so you can see it is just a really really pretty pink color hopefully you can see that and I just really really like it a lot and on top of that what I use is a NYX soft matte lip cream and this is just in the color Tokyo SML C03 and that is the packaging of it and it's just a doe foot applicator and I will swatch that right next to strawberry milk and that is what strawberry milk and Tokyo look like next to each other and I just use Tokyo on top of strawberry milk because I like strawberry milk because it is more of a toned down Barbie pink I would call it it's more of a yellow base than a blue base the strawberry milk is definitely a blue based lipstick what blue based lip products do is they actually make your teeth look whiter so if you wanted to make your teeth look whiter then just look for a blue based lipstick what a blue based lipstick is is it has like kind of a blue reflex in it a little bit what I like also like about these um, these lip, soft matte lip creams is the smell of them they smell like cupcakes they smell delicious so suggest so this and strawberry milk together Tokyo and strawberry milk together great great combination I'll show you what they look like one more time those are the two colors next to each other and these are the lipsticks and the lip matte lip cream so really really like these together highly suggest you guys go Pick this up at your local Ulta or on NYXCosmetics.com, which I will have that link below as well. So the last favorites I want to talk about are some YouTubers. And I have a couple of YouTubers that I have been watching this month. And I will list them below. The first YouTuber I want to talk about is Nicole Guerrero I love her so much I love her tutorials I literally go back to I have a favorite tutorial of hers and it is her purple glitter tutorial I can go back to that tutorial and watch it over and over and over again I love that tutorial she's an amazing artist um, she's an amazing person she's really sweet I was lucky enough to meet her at BeautyCon this past August and which was awesome as well and it was just awesome to meet her because she's just really down to earth and she knew exactly who I was when I 
said hi to her, so I thought that was really cool. Next person I want to talk about is Time the Infamous. She's an amazing artist. I love, love, love her work. She does so many great tutorials. They're so fun to watch. She does all these colorful tutorials and stuff, and she's really, really good. She's another inspiration of mine, and I just love her work. She's beyond amazing and so cool. The next person I want to talk about is actually a friend of mine, and her name is Chloe, or Glamour Wiz, and I love her videos. You definitely need to check out her videos. Her videos are so high quality and really, really great. She's adorable. I love her so much. She's, she's awesome. You need to check her out. And then another friend that I want to talk about is Steph or Endless Beauty XO. I really, really love her lookbooks and like her outfit of the days. She's amazing at, she does, she recently did a couple, maybe like a month ago or so, she did like a rant video and it was hilarious. I will link that video below so you guys can go check that out. It is so funny. She's hilarious. Um, I want to say it was a rant video or it was like pet peeves of hers, but it was, it's just really funny. So I'll link that below. So that is it. Um, I'll have everyone's channel link below, all the websites below where I got all the products from. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Be sure you're following me on Instagram and Twitter. And like my Facebook page because I do post on there occasionally. I am trying to get back into posting on Facebook. But yes, so that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.